Mm -hmm. It's always a wise thing to do. Yeah, and I think preparedness, the more you're prepared, the less stress you're going to sure. feel when you start sure. to have in enacting those plans um, and finding a credible source of information that you yeah. know and trust. Faith, Kristen, Carly, me, you know, we've been doing it for a while. So mm -hmm. our goal is to make sure you are prepared. Which is why you guys yes. are our go-to. That's it. For all that's of South we, Texas, you know, man. Sure. We are watching a little tropical wave that's in the Caribbean right now. No immediate threats heading uh, into the rest of this week or the weekend. But this season, as we've seen so far, it's looking active and uh, the peak of the season generally is until mid to late August and into September. So uh, 92 out right now. Air quality is good. Feels like nearly 110 degrees, 616 in the late afternoon, June the 25th. A lot of heat related advisories to our north uh, and the pink shades. Those are excessive heat warnings. Very hot, big region of high pressure sitting over that part of the country. And that high is one of the reasons this disturbance it's in the Eastern Caribbean is going to stay a little farther to the south. Right now it's fighting Saharan dust, a lot of dry air in the Eastern Caribbean. This thing is likely going to hug Central America. So that interaction with land on its journey to the west and west northwest coupled with the Saharan dust is going to make a rough go at this disturbance in terms of development. The Hurricane Center still at 20% on the odds for it. And as far as its track is concerned, dual areas of high pressure will likely keep this thing on a more westerly track than northerly over the next few days. So by the weekend, this should be close to the Yucatan Peninsula. Meantime, this big region of high pressure is going to be pretty strong over the south central part of the country, and that should keep this energy, whatever it is at this point, uh, into Mexico, crossing the southwestern Gulf over the weekend. So uh, we've got that. We've also got the Saharan dust that will be moving in, you know, in substantial amounts for the first time this season over the weekend. We'll get one little plume of it Saturday and then another big batch of dust into Sunday and Monday. So allergy like symptoms for some of you, more vibrant you know, dusk and dawn, hazier skies, and that tends to also suppress tropical activity. So right now pretty clean in the atmosphere, but into the weekend we will get hazier with that Saharan dust filtering in going to be hot mid 90s here through the weekend.